Hi, beautiful Taurus. Welcome to a new era. My name is Emma. Taurus, this is your monthly read for August of 2024. And before we begin, I just want to apologize for the poor quality of the video. I know the lighting in the back is not the best. There should be lighting in the front. Um, the resolution of the video is also not good. Um, I'm aware of it. I just want to let you know, okay? But the important thing is the message for you guys. And if I can just get the... Okay, so please also, if you wish, subscribe and like the video and the channel. It really helps me a lot. Taurus, let's see what's going on for you for the month of August. We're going to have like a, uh, just a overall energy here first and then go deeper and deeper into the message and see what's really going on for you for the month of August. And at the very end, we're going to have your angels come out and... Give some extra advice or inspiration. I'm really curious about that. Wow. We're not going to take them, but they really stood out. Money and good fortune. Ooh, I like it. Money and good fortune. Look at that. That wants to show up. It didn't want to come out as your core energy, but it wants to show up. That money and good fortune is on its way in, or at least in the month of August. What do we have? Again, two cards. Epiphany and dreams. Well, if you want two cards, we're going to take two cards. Epiphany. I love this um, Phoenix Rising. Like, I just adore this uh, coloring and the just the ener energy and the image. I do apologize if you hear my little boy. He's uh, playing in the other room uh, from here. Okay, Epiphany. This is about like something falling into place, having a revelation. I mean, we have the largest transformation going on. It's not too much freedom just yet. We have like all these birds on this side, like these are all birds, right? And then on this side, there's, it's so thick. It's so much that we don't see individually how many butterflies those are. That's a sea of butterflies. Do you see, do you see that? Um, they're just all butterflies, all the way up here, which speaks about transformation, right? The, the going from the caterpillar to the butterfly, that type of transformation. We have the phoenix rising. So it's not an easy transformation. There's something going on in the month of August that's going to require um, some willpower and some courage, I feel, that you're just stepping into this, like you need to go through with this change or you need to... Um, just put those big pants on and just say, okay, I'm going to do this. But along the way, there's, th this is the epiphany card. So along the way, there's something that's going to allow for you to like, oh my God, I didn't think of that. I didn't think that I could do this. Like it can actually be easier than I thought. And, it, and that's why I say there, there's birds here, but not, not nearly as many as there are butterflies. So the focus on transformation is bigger than the focus on freedom. Like you have not stepped into the freedom just yet. There's a, there's a bridge to cross there. There's something to get over first. And you're going to have an epiphany like on what to do here. And we have dreams. Which can believe that you're starting to have literal dreams about like how to move forward. Uh, remembering more and more dreams on what to do with your life, how to move forward with your life. But this is also about like believing in your dreams, like your day, your daydreams, your fantasies, where you're headed, this transformation and where you're headed, like believe in it. It's so important that you believe in yourself and that you believe in your dreams to stay loyal to your dreams. We're loyal to people left and right. We're loyal to the commitments or the promises that we made to other people but we're rarely that loyal to ourselves. So this is speaking about like, be loyal to your own dreams and stay true to what it is that you want. So really profound, like this month is about that transformation and staying true to those dreams and believe in them. Like practice, practice, practice as much as you can so that you start to believe in where you're going and where you want to go. What do we have for Taurus, please, in the month of August?
Moving on. For sure. For sure. <laughs> that was funny because he's walking on the shore. I thought it was funny. What do we have for tours, please? Nine. We have eight and nine. Well-deserved reward. It's, it's going to pay off what you're trying to do and where you're going. If you have any fear of, oh, if I do this, is that going to... Are we going to go down the drain? Or if we, if I, if I jump on board with this, if I, if I take a leap of faith on this, like if, the, if you're here to look for validation, here's your validation. Like it's going to pay, pay out. It's going to be, it's lucrative. It's successful. Taurus and throat chakra. So it's like really speaking your truth, really telling the universe what it is that you want. Like, ha like even having the right even having the right to speak out what it is that you want. I'm just going to get all the decks, not all the decks, but all the cards on the table and then really get the message. But it's becoming quite clear. What is also really clear is that it's a process. It's a process and progress. You're making progress, but it's, it's um, important to know that you can't skip any... You can't skip any steps, any things coming up along the, there's a clear path and it's going to show like on that path with whatever needs to be put on that path and when, whatever you need to sort of sort out or overcome or what, like it's going to be really clear. You don't have to figure that out and you can't skip a step is what I'm getting. Taurus for the month of August, please. Taurus, no place like home. So, wow, I feel like you're finding a new, somewhat like a new place within yourself. Uh, the Fates and Yang. It's really fiery. It's like, it was always meant to be this way. Love the fates there. All those stars. Like, look at all those stars for both those cards. All those stars. Dreams coming true. Wishes coming true. Creating it in the palm of your hand. And then just one more from the fairies. Wow, okay, so we're going, so eight of winter, it's a lot about belief and it's a lot about like having your inner child come out and play again. You might even have put yourself like on the, like taking, like you might be this person that takes care of everyone first, children's needs are met parents needs are met friends needs are met your spouse's needs are met like you need to clean the house you need to, like and then comes you you might have started like because i see the shift here and because i see the moving on and like there's an actual moving on you are that's what i mean with state clearly to the universe what you want like you're so worthy of asking truly for what you want and a person even feeling like they have the right to ask is if is a person who started to respect their own wishes, respect yourself. And I feel like you've started to do that, Taurus. You're starting to respect yourself enough so that you can ask for what you truly want. So the Eight of Winter is all about like, you have what it takes, but you need to believe in yourself. And um, we started out with believing in your dreams. Like where you're going, you need to believe in where you're going. If you've been inspired to go somewhere, if you had an idea or a wish or like it, that's an inspiration that comes from within, right? So that's your higher power. That's your, that's your inner being saying, this is completely doable. We, whatever wish that you have is completely, you're, you're picking that wish from someplace and where you picking, where you pick it from, it's already organized. Now you just need to find a way to bring that in. And the way you do that is that you start to believe 
in whatever it is that you do is not that it's not possible is not it has nothing to do with time or talent even or age or gender or religion or like it has nothing to do with anything but the sheer wish itself if you had a wish there's a there's a way for the universe to deliver this to you but what's lacking a little bit is your belief in it so the belief needs to be strengthened and I feel like that's what you're doing the it's like a it's like um it goes hand in hand because I feel like the the moving on and the well-deserved reward like this is someone I think believing in the dream is believing in yourself that's quite profound it's quite big Believing in the dream is believing in yourself, right? Believing in yourself means believing in the dream. There's no separation, really. And so before, you probably have found yourself in situations where you're just, you're just fine. Like, you're fine and you're, you're dimming your shine and you're going along with other people thinking certain things. And, like, you're not fine with that at all. But you let, you let it slip or you let it, like, pff, yeah, never mind, like, I don't have time for this, whatever. But then it's also putting like yourself on the, like you're dimming your shine and not speaking really your truth. And now as you start to believe more in yourself and you start to believe more in your dreams and where you're headed, this grand transformation is, uh, is having you ask bigger questions that like, that comes from like a deserving place now. So now we're moving on. Like you're not, you're not okay with this anymore. This can even be like you lived a little bit in your past. I'm not saying that you've been a victim I'm not saying that you've been a victim, Taurus, but I am saying that you might have lived in your past or relived your past and held other people accountable for not getting out of that past, if that makes sense. If you have a spouse around you that you feel are acting certain ways and it's like, it's their, their fault that I can't move forward. I feel like you're dropping all of that. Like there's a lot of like, okay, I've, I'm just not interested anymore in keeping those things alive or bringing them into the now future not to the now future i was not going to say that but into the now and therefore into the future so it's like yes you're moving on from the situation that you're in and i feel like it takes a little bit of courage but you're also moving on from like you're releasing the past basically is what it's saying and it's well deserved reward the job, the job that you've done to get to this place has, has not been easy. This is you rising from the ashes. This is someone, this is, this is like, um, this is going from caterpillar to the butterfly. This change or this eight to nine that you're doing now is like a, I would say in Swedish, swallow your head and change your body. <laughs> it's like a, you're coming out on the other end of this, like as a changed species. Like, yeah. And you're so worthy of it. You're worthy of just being, like just being born. You can ask for anything that you want. But it's like, it wants to show you that going ahead with whatever it is that you want to go ahead with releasing the past making this transformation that you're doing like working on yourself and keeping like just keeping at it with your thoughts and being very like on purpose with things it leads to well-deserved reward it leads to a reward it leads to it actually leads to success it might not feel that like you might not feel that in the very moment of things but it's promised it's a reward coming in as you start as you continue with this Was my little boy wanting some attention there? I just stopped there. I'm 14, 14. And there's no coincidences in my world. And 14 for me is a new beginning for the heart. And that's a dub, like a double up. So we have um, like a it's, a, it's a really strong new beginning for the heart. So like new emotional situations, feeling things you haven't felt before. Um, yeah, a beautiful opening of the heart, truly. Okay, and then we have the throat chakra came out, right? which is speaking about like you have the right to ask for what you want, to really speak your truth, speak your mind, like 
step up into your own game. Like you have these wishes and that these wants and you probably have had them for a long time. This transformation have been, I don't think that people just change overnight. Uh, it is a process, right? But there's also a situation where you probably have pushed things down. You haven't spoken your truth. You haven't said what you truly want or need or desire in your life because it's like you haven't felt worthy of asking. And it might even be like you're like asking people around you or asking for help. But this is also more like asking the universe what type of life you want to lead, who you want to be in this world. And the throat chakra is also about being heard and being understood. So maybe there's also something there that you felt in the past that you're now moving away from, that there's been like miscommunic a lot of miscommunication, um, a lot of misunderstandings, or a feeling of that other people just don't understand you. That like you're not on the same page as certain other people. It can be several people that just don't understand what you're about and that you feel that you wish that they so could understand you or that you, that could that they could hear what you're about, who you really truly are? Could it be that you haven't understood another person? Has it been difficult for you to understand others, for you to really hear what they're saying? This is coming now into like a healing situation. I just feel like there's a lot of relationships being healed at this time because your throat chakra is being healed. There's a there's an awakening around the throat chakra and, and the world. Uh, the throat chakra of the world is awakening right now and there's a lot of healing taking place around that to both speak speak your truth but also also be important enough so that you sort of demand other people listening to what you're about right and that you also step up and list, start to listen to others um then we had no place like home no we had six and eight of, right um so we start with this eight of winter. You have what it takes if only you believe in yourself. Thinking that you're powerless when you're not, a lack of self-confidence that keeps you from getting what you want. This is exactly what you're, what you're uh, shifting now. This is the grand transformation. Remember, we had this epiphany. Something is going to come to this. Something's going to come to realization. You're going to get something where it's like, I finally get it. Okay. Um, yeah, this, uh, this is exactly what you're getting out of. You're, you're having an epiphany about something that's just going to release a lot of stuff from the past. It's just been a lack of confidence over and over again that has just kept you from lack of worthiness and a lack of confidence that has kept you from what you truly want. Like you're, you're all ready to go, but like you're so dissoci dissociated, like you're, not really attached or connected to other people or even to your own heart. And this is now taking a big turn. Like you're starting to connect with people. You're starting to connect with yourself more. And the six of summer speaks about that connection with your inner child. Like it can first be that you've had certain memories of the past that really wasn't to your liking. That there, there has been certain things happening that is not fun and you've kept them alive and you kept them alive and you kept them alive and it hasn't served you well. So this can represent going back into those memories and actually rearrange them. Start to start to picture them as you would have hoped things turned out instead of the way that you remember them turning out. As you change your past, you're going to start to change your future. And you can do this on purpose. You can sit with this memory if there was something that really hurt you to the core, whether you're six years old or 16 or 26, like something that comes up to mind is like sit with it and play it out as you wished it would have played out or it turned out well rather than what you've been carrying with you. Another thing can be that you have remembered things more severely heavy than they actually were. It's also a way to like in, start to invite your inner child again, to start to think of your childhood. Maybe you've had beautiful childhood memories where it's like there's been so much play and so much fun with certain friends and certain projects and certain situations, maybe from school or even kindergarten or like with your friends in, the, in your community. Uh, maybe during some summers you went away to grandma and grandpa's over the summer, like whatever this is, like to go back into those childhood memories and start to relive them 
wakes something up in you. It puts you on this path of like um, deliberately releasing yourself to come into freedom and to start to start to find that little child within yourself that was really confident. You know, every child that bo is born into this world, you don't have to teach them confidence. They're confident to begin with until that's taken away. So there's been a moment in your life, whether you're two and a half years old, you have that confidence. And it's like, go and, go and look for that. Go and search for that again. And then we have no place like home. This is when you you truly are searching from your, like, your core. This is your, like, the month of August is probably going to be like a month of, like, introspection, going inwards, sitting in meditation, having a feeling if you've had, um, this can, like, I feel like it's a very introverted journey, but it can also be that you longed to live in a different country or live in a different state, live closer to other people, um, that there's been a longing to go someplace, I really encourage you to go there because like it's a big calling right now through this transformation going on for you. And 50 usually represents like the half, like half life mark. Uh, like, like now, whether you're 25 and listen to this or whether you're 75 and listen to this, it, it's like you, okay, so here's, Here's how I see it. It's like, it's like you gathered enough information. You have enough information under your belt to now be wise to pick whatever it is that you want. You know your likes and dislikes. You know, you know what brings you joy and you know what takes away the joy. You know what um, inspires you and uplifts your spirit. And you know where you get a little bit heavy. So to your best ability, really walk that path. You're already walking that path. That, that transformation is already underway. It's already happening. It's almost ha like it's happening whether you want it to or not, but I, it, it's you want it, right? So you're searching for that deep like belonging, this deep-rooted like where you actually, it can be a galactic thing. You're all of a sudden starting to like, I've been connected to Orion for the longest time. I've had certain guides that I connected with like a long, long time ago. And then those guides have shifted into other guides. And then I started to have like a real connection with Orion. And then not like probably just maybe six months ago or something was the first indication of a, of a brand new, like a new galactic energy coming in that I had no idea that were ever even either coming I just I felt a calling or I felt like some almost like a question like there's another like I belong somewhere and I, I actually don't know where this where this is and then that has just become more and more clear so this can even be like a galactic calling as well like you're starting to get more and more hints about a place from Atlantis or like new Arct Arcturian or Pleiadian or Syrian or Orion or like new energies are starting to come in. It might not be even be any ones those of those names that I dropped. Um, you just feel a connection with a new galaxy or a new um, dimension, if you will. And then we have Yang and the Fates. And I'm supposed to read from the Fates. I just feel like there's so much creation here now. 17 is immortality, endlessness, never ending of things. And like the big creation going on, like in your own, in the palm of your hands, like there's so much creation. You are starting to, like you're starting, like you're starting to live your destiny. You're starting to really find your home and really like, here's where I belong. Here's what I'm supposed to do. I'm starting to feel comfortable in my own skin. The confidence is growing. There's real beauty happening here. The fates number 17. Wow. Just like that. Look, she's like smack in the middle. Of, like so aligned with those stars. Really aligned with that faded reality. Essential meanings of this card is fate, karma, acceptance that there are things you cannot change and knowing what those things are. Okay, so 
mm, yeah, maybe we're drawn there a little bit to the past, thinking certain things of your past. And like whatever was, was. And being a little bit stuck there, but moving on from them. Uh, the Oracle's message states, The serenity prayer sums up the meaning of this card. God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Did I not say right at the very beginning, like there's going to take some courage. You're going to start to believe in this transformation and this moving on, this moving in a new direction and this moving on from something is going to take a little bit of willpower and courage. And here we have that again with the fates that God grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, the courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference. Yeah. There are things in life you will never have control over. The conditions brought on by the evolution of the collective, by nature, and by your own past experiences may be faded preordained by spirit for a greater purpose that you cannot understand in this lifetime. It may not be in your cards to understand why certain events occurred, but you can accept the mystery and work with, the, with what those events and your current circumstances have to teach you. This is the wisdom contained in the serenity prayer. And then the relation, relationship, uh, other people are who they are. You can't change them. The challenge is to accept them as they are and not try to make them otherwise to suit you. This is a time to look at how you attempt to mold people to fit your view and how they should be so that you can remain in the relationship and avoid discomfort. That's a huge one. What if who they are and whatever is happening between you and them in this situation is perfect from the perspective of spirit. Now is the time to accept what you cannot change, even if it means that you honor yourself, spirit, and the other person by moving on. And here comes literally moving on. My goodness. So there might be that you're moving on from a specific relationship, like whether that's your romantic partner, whether that is your um, a friendship, uh, like whatever this is. It's a moving on. Wow. Love unconditionally for each of us in our own journey, for each of us is on our own journey, and we cannot direct that of another. Be aware that this relationship is indeed faded, and you are meant to evolve into a better version of yourself as a result of it. So there is a relationship in your life that has helped you improve into becoming a better person. But as that improvement takes place and the person sort of helping you to grow into that person serves no purpose anymore. And then sometimes we're inspired to move on from that. And that can be tough because there's a lot of investment there. The prosperity message states, your experiences concerning prosperity and abundance are beyond your personal control right now. You are being invited to accept what is unreservedly this could be a temporary situation seemingly trust upon thrust upon you by outside forces but there is an underlying purpose that you can't see that has been determined by the fates it could be a situation you are Okay, I feel a little bit uh, interrupted here, but we're going to try to get it through um, this reading. I'm starting over here. This could be a temporary situation seemingly tr thrust upon you by outside forces, but there is an underlying purpose that you can't see that has been determined by the fates. It could be a situation that you are unprepared for and the, you may not understand how it will benefit you in the moment. Do not fight the situation. Write it out and see where it leads. Surrender to it. And the serenity you need to make good choices from here on out will be given to you. You will indeed flourish. So you're on the path to a gorgeous change. What I feel strongly here is belief in yourself, belief in your dreams, 
that this is a process and you will be given, try not to figure out what the outcome or the result is. You'll be, you will be given little breadcrumbs on the path. Try to sur surrender in a way, but also take charge. Like you have so much say in this. There's so much fiery energy here. Okay. And then we're going to finalize this message with the angels. What do we have for Taurus, please? Wow. Okay. So it's interesting. We have a year from now and within the next few weeks. <laughs> a year from now and within the next few weeks. It's asking you to drop any outcome. When, where, what, how, drop it. As much as you can, don't be a victim or don't be ruled under, the, under time. There's timing here and you're being shown the way little by little. Success. You don't have to worry. It's going to work out. It's going to turn out in your favor. Whatever you're struggling with right now that you need to have courage and willpower in, it's going to work itself out. That's what I have for you, beautiful Taurus. Sorry for the little interruptions here. Um, sometimes that's what's going to happen. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. It really helps me so much. And thank you so much for watching. Take care, guys. Bye.